Hey YouTubers and welcome back to another episode here today on ESGN Net and this is MLB 17 the show and this is the Kansas City Royals franchise today as we're back here for episode 116 and today we are at home and we are finished off this series here with the Colorado Rockets in the final game of a three game series with them and we'll see what we can do here in this one as the Rockies have won the first game there you see there 6-2 Brandon Shipley got his first loss of the season, and, but the Royals were able to come back in game two there as they won that one at three to two. Nice victory there as King Felix were able to get us back on the winning track there. Uh, pitching in eight innings of work, uh, giving up eight hits, only two runs, both were earned, and also had seven strikeouts uh, upon the Rockies there to get the victory. Cur currently right now, Felix's ERA right now at a buck 27. And he is looking pretty good right now for us this season. As you take a look here at those uh, box scores there, you guys can check those out. But uh, today is the rubber match here for the final game of this series. We'll try to see if we can try to get something going here for ourselves as we will have, um, I believe it will be Danny Duffy on the hill today. Uh, he currently comes in this game with an ERA of 3.21. And we'll see what he can do. Now, as for batting right now, the right now, of course, Gordon, uh, Lynn, and Mustakas have been hot for us. But as for uh, Hosmer, eh, not too good. He's still kind of cold right now. Um, as uh, you take a look there at the box scores there, uh, so far in this series right now, he is one for six. Uh, he had two RBIs and a strikeout in that series. Uh, Gordon's pretty much been this guy to really put pretty much help us out here so far uh, in this series so far with the Rockies uh, Gordon is 2-4 in this uh, in uh, game two he had a run and an RBI in that game so it helped us out there some with uh, getting King Felix some help there and when it comes to uh, run support there but we need a lot we need some more from especially coming for not just from Gordon but really we need help from Hosmer now, I have been looking at some potential trades there. I'll talk about more about that in, in a future episode because uh, right now we're kind of looking at some trades here, possibly getting rid of Hosmer and having to move on to to another team. One of the teams that have been kind of uh, I've been kind of tinkering with is the Padres. Now, in real life, he he did go to the Padres, but not as a trade. He went there as a free agent. But in this series, he could possibly have that uh, chance of going there as there. There's some pretty good uh, potential guys that we could be looking at, and of course, I want to find a uh, uh, want him in the, somewhere in the National League, especially somewhere far away from us as possible, so we don't have you know don't have to meet him up at you know won't have to worry about meeting him up in the playoffs or anything like that. So he won't be in the American League if we do trade him. He'll be in the National League, uh, and we'll try to put him out maybe out in the West or in the East. But take a look at the numbers there for both. Uh, for Duffy and Hamill. Hamill uh, coming into this game here today. Uh, I believe his last start was, I believe, um, was against the Tigers, I think it was there, uh, where he, um, or no, it wasn't against the Tigers there. I can't remember what it was now. Um, but Duffy's last start was against, actually was against the Tigers. Uh, he lost that game four to one. He had six innings of work, gave up four hits, three runs. None of them were earned. Uh, he had a walk and a strikeout. Uh, well, actually, he had six strikeouts in that game. Take a look at Jason Hamill's numbers there. 5.06 there for his ERA. Uh, 33 strikeouts, 17 walks there for him for the season. Having a decent season, but uh, probably not the numbers that the Rockies are won from him, especially in that ERA portion there. But we'll try to see what we can do here on the diamond here as we are at the K here. And we're going to try to see what we can do here for our Royals here if we can win this rubber matchup. So Aaron Arenado, of course, five home runs, 33 RBIs, one of their top guys right now for this ball club here in at least this version of, of Major League Baseball. We'll see what he can do here with a 1-2 count here. And this is going to be in there for a base hit. That's going to go in there, and that is going to be a good job there to start off for the Rockies here. Uh, we're actually in the second inning, I should say, uh, here. So, uh, first inning, no problem there for Duffy. Second inning, he having a little trouble here. He has one on here. He has an 0-1 count here on the next batter as this is going to fly out there to right field. That is going to be a great catch, and that is going to go ahead and in, uh, or get the first out there on the Rockies. As we'll see, uh, Rosario now here up to bat here. We'll see what he can do. 
Check out his look. His number zero this season here. One on here, one out. And we'll see if we can get Rosario here. Oh, okay, nice. We got Rosario to pop this one over near the uh, dugout there. Nice catch there from Moose. And that is two away on the Rockies. So Rockies here having a little tough go here. As you see, Lars Anderson, two home runs, 11 RBIs for the season. We'll see what we can do here on Lars. Hopefully it'll be a quick strike out here. He's an 0-2 count. This one's going to dribble there. Oh, nice stab there by uh, Moraro. And Moraro will throw this one over the first there, and that is going to end the inning as our young second uh, or shortstop there makes a nice play. Go to the bottom of the second now here. Royal chance now here to do something here. Just take a look at the road and home splits there for Hosmer. Hosmer more comfortable on the road than he is at home. Currently has four home runs and 19 RBIs for the season here. Have really a slow start for him. Not like him, and that's why we're talking about getting rid of him. Unless he can do stuff like this. This, this one goes high and deep. This is going to bounce off the wall. Left Right fielder cannot get a hold of that one, and that is going to be a double there for Hosmer. As Hosmer now puts himself in scoring position now here for the Royals. So Salvi's up to bat here. There you see. Last seven games not been too good for him. Three of twenty-three, a buck twenty, or a buck thirty there for him in those seven games here. Let's try to see if we can get something going here. Hosmer, of course, his fifth double of the season here, and that is what we like to see from him. As they are nobody out here, one on here, so a good day, a good chance now for Salvi to do something here with a one-zero count here, and this one's going to hit over the right field. That one's going to drop down, and that is going to move now the runner over to third. With runners on the corners now here, as we'll see Devin Morocco, Morocco up the bat here. So Morocco, good uh, first pitch uh, hitter here. We'll see if he can get a good, clean, good pitch here as he hits this one there. That is going to turn that into a double play, but also going to drive in a run there as that's going to drive in Hosmer. And it's one nothing here for the Royals. So, you know, Morocco did, you know, did what he had to do there. He had a, got a runner over, maybe not got on base safely there. But we'll see here. Moose up to bat here. And Moose is going to try to outrun this one. And, oh, he does. And he is oh, he's going to go ahead and stay at first. As that is going to be an error there. I believe that's going to be an E4 there on the uh, second baseman. As we'll take a look here. He had enough time to throw this one over the first. But he overthrows it. Yeah, oh, overthrows that one. I don't know what he was throwing to. I don't know if he's throwing somebody in the third row there. But he really overthrows that one pretty bad and that's going to put now um uh moose now at first so now um Marquecas up to bat here we'll see what he can do with two out one on here and we'll see if we can uh, try to extend this uh, opportunity here with this error as we'll see the fly ball over there going to left field there going down the th uh, third base line that is going to be a base hit and that's going to put them on on the uh, on the bases here now with uh, two runners on board. So two out, two on here for the Royals as Marquecas gets on board here. So Marquecas at first, and of course Moose at second. We'll see what Johnny Peralta can do here with two runners on here and two out. And he has a pretty good hitter's count here, early count now, one nothing, one nothing here as he hits this one over the right field. That's going to be a base hit, and that is going to now move the runners up 90 feet, making the bases loaded now here. For the Royals, as we'll see now, Afonte up to bat as we restart the order here. Bases loaded here, 1 0 count here for Afonte. Afonte is going to hit this one up the middle there. That is going to be a base hit, and that's going to drive in a run. And it's now 2 0 here for the Royals. So the Royals take advantage of that error and are able to bring home that lead runner. As we see, another uh, bases loaded here for Gordon. Gordon's going to pop this one in here high and deep, but not deep enough to get out of the ballpark. And that one's going to get caught out there to center field. As Campbell's probably a little pissed about that uh, error now haunting him as they score on that error. It's 2 to nothing here, Royals. As we go down to the bottom of the fourth here, Johnny Peralta up to bat. He hit single back in the second. So he's having a good, pretty good day here. He has another opportunity. He has a great opportunity here to uh, get, drive in a run here. As we'll see the runner from third come in. And that is going to be an out there on Peralta. But Peralta will drive in Moose. And Moose will score. On that one, so nice job there from Moose. As now we go to the top of the fifth here, we'll see Eddie Rosario up to bat 0 for 1, popped out in the second. We'll see what he can do here in this situation here. Royals lead now 3 0 here. As we'll see this one go right down the first baseline there. Nice uh, hustle there 
or a uh, nice uh, attempt there from Hosmer, but he kind of couldn't get that one. But it will be a double there for Eddie Rosario, as that will go ahead and put him on board. As we have now one out, nobody out, or one on, nobody out, I should say. And we'll see what the Rockies can do here at the top of the fifth. As we'll see a swing, or no, not a swing there, it's just a look. As Anderson just gets called out, looking there on that curveball low and away. That's one away there on the Rockies. As we'll see, Rico Newell, as he is the uh, one of the real young guys that got brought up here recently. He's uh, his, uh, getting his first uh, start here today. As we'll see him get struck out there. Nice job there as Duffy gets the rookie out there on that one. That's now two away here on the Rockies. So Rockies here in this inning so far not looking really well. They got to start swinging those bats here. I think they're trying to get those uh, decent, those uh, call, thinking they're trying to get those calls there, but uh, our calls are going our way here today. As we'll see with two out here, one on, still at second. And we'll see this one getting popped up here. This is going to be deep there to left field. Nice catch there from Hosmer. Able to track that one down. And that is going to end the inning. As the Royals lead it now 3-0 here. As we go to the top half of the seventh, as Aaron Arenado comes up to bat here. And we'll see what the Arenado will do here with his at-bats here. As I believe we'll see Wade Davis come into the game here. We'll start uh, switching it up here. As we had a six good innings, or six decent innings there with Duffy here today. Not the best start he had, but we'll see what he can do here. As uh, we'll see Davis come in here, try to get some relief here for the Royals. As uh, we'll see a 0-1 count here. And, of course, Davis would love to try to get a ground ball here to get him, get this batter out here. That is a ground ball, but it's going to get past the infield there, and that is going to be a base hit. And that is going to be now one runner on board here for the Royals as Arenado is able to get on board. So next bat here, as we'll see Call Gill up to bat here, we'll see what he will be able to do here as he'll swing and a miss there on that curveball low and in, and that will retire him there. As that's one away now here on the Rockies. Up to bat next is Rosario. We'll see what he can do here. As Rosario here uh, takes a ooh, little bunt swing there. Try to get this one down the first base line, but Rosario just too damn quick. And there are now two aboard here for the Rockies. As we'll see now Lars Anderson up to bat here. 0 for 2. Struck out back in the 5th. We'll see what he can do here. What 2 on here in top of the 7th. And 1 out. And, of course, Wade would like to try to get out of this inning here with a ground ball here. And that's exactly what he gets here as that's one and that is two there. And the Royals are out of the inning. Nice job of getting Anderson and ground out there. That's a 4-3 to three put out, and that is it for the inning as the Royals still lead it 3-0. So now we'll see Rico Noel up to bat here. Struck out twice already, 0-2 for, for the day. We'll see what he can do now in this situation as we'll change up the uh, pitchers again here. Lewis Coleman will come out to bat or come out to pitch here. Ten games he's been in so far, two and one for the season. There you see 22 strikeouts here for him. He's been a pretty good reliever here, and he may be our everyday reliever uh, if he keeps this up here. As we'll see here, that is going to be a ball. That's going to be a uh, single there, out to right, and that is going to be Rico Noel's first major league hit there. Congratulations there, kid. As they're going to throw that ball in there. And, and try to get that one, uh, one customized, you know, uh, put on a uh, bronze or whatever, and uh, get that uh, on his mantle there as he gets his first ever Major League Baseball, uh, Major League hit there. So we'll see now here, one on here, and we'll see Coleman here try to get the uh, batter here to pop this one out. He will out to center field as uh, Gordon there. Uh, and I forgot. I did. I think I said earlier Gordon was out in left. He's actually in center here. Uh, he's going to be there for quite some time until we get JD but come back from injury. But we'll take a look here and see the pitching comparisons there. And there you see, not a bad day there for Duffy. I wish we could have him out there longer, but we only pushed him to six. As we'll see, Coleman out here, one on and one out here. This one is going to try to get the double play here. Try to get that three to six double play there but it does not work out there for us as that is going to be actually have been three to six to one but uh, we just could not get that one turned around there and we do get the lead runner there so they're now two away here on the Rockies as the Rockies here trying to stay alive here as Dole will come up to bat here over three we'll see what he can do here with an 0-1 count two out 
And, of course, runner at first, as we'll see here. That's going to be a broken bat, and this is going to be a nice pop-up there to Moose, as Moose is able to track that one down and get the catch. So now we go to the bottom half of the eighth here. We'll see Hosmer up to bat here. It's one for three for him today. He doubled back in the second here. Been kind of quiet since then. We'll see what he can do now here with this at bat. As we'll see here, in a one or one zero count here. This one is going to go high and deep. This one's going to sail out of here. Can it get enough energy to get out of the ballpark? And it does. That's a home run there for Mr. Hosmer. As that is his fifth of the year. Hopefully his bat is starting to come alive here because we need it. As will Royals put a four, put another run on the board here. Now four to nothing here in the latter half of the eighth inning. So nice job there as Royals able to uh, get their one of their, you know big bats here going here today. Even though we've pretty much got this game in uh, where we wanted here. That's always nice to see here. Got uh, Hosmer doing doing some damage as we'll see sitting now up to uh, pitch here. Craig sitting there 19 games he's been in so far. One and one for the season. Uh, 15 strikeouts, 20 and a third innings of work with an ERA of 310. And we'll see what he can do if he try to maintain this uh, lead there that the Royals currently have on the Rockies as that is going to be a base hit there from Salvi, who his bat has been kind of quiet here. Unusual for him to be quiet at the plate. We'll see Morocco now up to bat here. And we'll see here. It's, uh, this one's going to be a ground ball here. Can they get the two? And no, they cannot. As they get Salvi there at the force out there at second. But Morocco able to get there to first. So we'll see now Moose up to bat here. Yes, they are. I just realized it is Mother's Day here. Uh, so shout out to all those mothers out there. And we'll see here, this ball is going to be skied, and that one's going to be out of, whoa, can't get to that one there. Center fielder tries to get that one down, but we'll see now runners on the on that second and third here. Nice job there from Moose. Almost had that one as a triple, but we'll see. They'll go ahead and get to Marquecas, and they decide to go ahead and pitch around him and have the bases loaded here. So they can try to get a, try to get a force out here. At all, uh, at any one of these base uh, plays, uh, any one of the bases here, we'll see if that'll work out for them. As we'll see, uh, Johnny Peralta up to bat here, one for three, single back in the second. So Peralta could have a good chance here to try to do some damage now here against this pitcher. As the bases are juiced, one out, 0 2 count here for him. So good count, pitcher's count here. This one gets sails out there, that is going to go right to the right, right fielder. And that is going to have a runner uh, not go anywhere as that one is just not deep enough. And the right fielder has a pretty good arm there. And they're going to have to stay where they're at. So two away now here for the Royals. As Fonte's up to bat here, two for four. Two singles for him so far. Base is still loaded here. And we have a 1-1 one, one count here. And Fonte swings the bat here. This is going to go deep. This is going to go back. And this is going to be gone. That's a home run. Make that a grand slam there for the Royals. As Infante puts up four on the board. And they have increased the lead now to four. It's eight to nothing here at the K. As Infante just does some damage there. Wow. What a shot there from him. From the little man there. As he is at one 423 feet there. Deep to center field. Take a look at the replay here. Look at that. Just a swat the ball there. And I think he knew he had all of it there. Found good location there. And was able to take that one down uh, into the fountains out there in dead center field. So, Troy to Whiskey. Yes, he's still with them in this one. Uh, still with the Rockies here. Not with the Blue Jays or anything like that. But we'll see what Troy Whiskey can do here. As uh, he's going to be facing up against Kelvin Herrera. Uh, Herrera, there's the eight uh, games he's been in so far. He hasn't got a win or a loss yet. No saves. Um, but a buck 93 there for his ERA. We'll see what he can do here as he pops this one up there. Gets to a whiskey there. Tolo. And that is going to be a nice catch there from Salvi. That's one away there for the Royals. As we go ahead and see if Calvin, uh, Kelvin Herrera can... Try to wrap this game up here with uh, two more outs. As we'll see here, he's pretty. It looks like he's on cruise control here, 
in this game here. Ned Yosh would like to try to wrap this series up and try to win this rubber match here and get out, out of the K here with two wins back to back here. As we'll see next batter here, it will be Aaron Arenado. And we'll see this one. Ground ball there. That is going to go to the first baseman. Hauser makes a nice uh, step on the bag there. And that is now two away for the Rockies. So Calgill now here will be up to bat next here. We'll see what he can do as he's 0 for 3 here in this today's game here. Struck out back in the 7th last time we've seen him. And we'll see here what he can do here in the ninth here. 2-2 count. That is going to be a swing and a miss there. And that is going to be it for the game as the Royals able to win this one here today at the K and a final score of 8 to nothing. A nice shutout there. And that is going to be a great win. Now, Duffy, 3-1 and one for the season. Six innings of work, five hits, or excuse me, uh, three hits and five strikeouts there for him. Nice game. Uh, of course, Alfonte, three for five, a home run. Five RBIs and a run scored. Hosmer finally came, to, came woken up here today as he had a Two for four day here with a home run, a double, and an RBI, and a run scored. Also, Mustakas, two for four, two doubles, and a run. And Gordon, uh, one for five here today with a uh, double there from him. As for the Rockies, uh, Hemel is now one and one for the season. Six innings of work, eight hits, three runs, two earned runs, and a four Ks. As for Rosario, two for three, a double. Aaron Arenado, two for four. Tulo, also one for four. And uh, Butter, uh, 0 for three for the day there. As the Royals will go ahead and win that final game of that series with the Rockies. So, coming up in the next episode there, guys, it will be the, I believe, the Texas Rangers series. We'll be in game two of that series there. We'll check that out there. We'll see how we do there. Uh, this will be the first time we've been to uh, Globe Life Park there in this uh, new season. And we'll see what we can do against them coming up here. Uh, in uh, the next episode. So episode 117, let's check that out there. Game 2 of that series. I'm not for sure who it's good in that matchup there, but uh, should be a good one. But we'll see how we do uh, coming up in that. So if you guys enjoyed today's episode, please leave a like. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more Kansas, Kansas City Royals franchise here on the channel. Uh, also, don't forget to hit that bell notification. And also check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Discord for the latest news and events on what's going on here on the channel and what's going on in the world of sports gaming in general. Thank you guys again so much for watching, and stay tuned for more Kansas City Royals franchise all summer long. That's it for me, you guys. As always, keep yourselves and your other healthy, and I will see you guys next time.